Hi, good day. This is Ronaldo. Ronaldo is six eight, and I'm here to talk to you guys today about my views on you know this current trend of single parenting. Now, I grew up, you know, with my mother, and my father, but I know that my sister, one of my sisters, didn't, or two of my sisters didn't. And I have cousins that, you know, grew up in single parent homes. I grew up in a neighborhood with single parents. And honestly, like, that's not really what I want to discuss. I mean, not to a whole degree. What really sparked this was while I was watching the news, I saw it had this mo- two mothers and their children um, camping outside the HTC, HDC building um, looking for a home. Now, I know that there are homes available and I know that I don't know, but I don't know how easily it is to to give people homes. But what I also know is that as an adult, right, as an adult, or even as a child, certain decisions you make, you know, lead to certain things. A lot of these times, a lot of these times, I see these women on TV and it's not one child they have, but they have about five. The average is about five children. And there are two parties to play in this or three if you count society these men or multiple men that women decide to engage with sexually are not of you know (sighs) people need to understand that when you grew up in poverty all right when you've seen poverty because i've 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 seen poverty. I, I don't I, I don't want to call it poverty because that's what I'm accustomed to. That's what I'm accustomed to seeing. I grew up I grew up in an area and you know that's what we accustomed to seeing, so it doesn't seem like poverty to me. But some some people that would be considered poverty. When you grow up like that, your only goal should be to get out. You understand? And you should not be aiming and making certain decisions that put you back into it. Having a child coming from poverty with all the correct resources puts you back in poverty. You never know who your child could become. That's true. But you don't want to put your child through that and pray that both of y'all make it out or all of y'all make it out. You don't want that. You don't want that. So what I really want is that as an adult or as adults... And even as teenagers and young people, we be careful with decisions we make. Especially when those, those decisions are sexual and could lead to children. Because children didn't ask to come here. I know you'll hear that a million times. A billion times. But it's true. Therefore, if you know if they didn't ask to come here, it's your responsibility to make sure that they don't come here. Or when they come here, they have the necessary tools they need. To survive and to not be full of stress. You do not want to say. You know what it is to be a child. You're going to school hungry. You know how annoying that is? I know how annoying that is. And I can tell you. It's not flicking nice, you know. We just joke about it, but I'm not flicking nice, you know. You know how annoying it is to go to school and you don't have the things like the other children. You know what I just do to some people? You know what I just do to little girls? That destroys yourself well, because society telling you you, 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 gotta, you gotta be some way, but then you you know yourself you cannot be that way. Why do we insist on putting children through this? That's my whole issue. You know? We you, you as an adult, you grew up in poverty, or you grew up in a situation, right? Your only goal or one of your only of your goals should be to get out, not to go back in. If your father never tell you that, I Ronaldo telling you that if your mother never tell you that i telling you that that should be on your list you make only decisions gauged towards getting out not decisions gauged towards staying in and that's my whole problem me understand i i have personal experience with it you know people that grew up you know and they just put themselves back you put the churn in it too you can't be continuing that cycle and don't blame it on society. Society don't control everything in your mind. 
When you wake up in the, in the morning, society will tell you to not eat or to eat or to bathe or do bathe. You just make them kind of decisions. You understand? Can't blame everything on society. Take responsibility for your shit. And don't put children through this. If you know you have five children, stop. Cut your tubes. Sew up your vagina. Run away. Turn lesbian. I don't know. Do what they have to take. To stop putting children through that. Because yes, five of your children could actually become very wealthy people. That is true. But why you want to take that chance? Why you want to put them through that stress? Even if they become wealthy, they will be mentally scarred. No, everybody is mentally scarred. But, you know, you're trying to minimize. You're trying to minimize. Again, I'm not here to, to judge nobody. I don't know where it went through. I don't know where the situation is. I'm not here to embarrass you. I'm not here to call names. I'm not here to make nobody feel bad. I'm just here to educate people. Let people know. Take responsibility for your shit. When you know you're going to drink and you're drunk, don't drive. When you know your mother sent you to school, go to school. Even if we know the school system is shit. We know it. Still, take what you could get. Because it's free. You don't want to be out here on the streets not having an education. You understand? You don't want to go through that. So even if it's shit, take the little shit. Take the salt. Take the little thing. Because it might come in handy. I know artists, rappers, musicians who cannot speak Queen's English. You understand? All they could speak is Creole. They don't understand. They don't know how to write. They don't know maths. That is not nice because you want to be a rapper, you want to be an artist, you want to be a a professional to hold millions of dollars in your pocket. But you cannot read and you cannot write. No. Get your education and make proper decisions. Please, people, it's not it's not about, you know, I said it's not about judging people, not about ridiculing people. Those two women outside the HDC didn't have to be there. Either. I don't know their story, so I can't judge. But just keep in mind that every decision you make has a consequence. Right now, me making this video has a consequence. Something is going to happen because of this video. You can't say, oh, well, the consequence is small. Small thing. Every consequence, every Thing that happens because of every precur- no, it's precursor is the word. Everything that happens because of is important. It's significant. Stop watching things as small thing and big thing. Everything is thing. So that is my message to people today. All right, please take responsibility for everything you do. I know I just talk my shit. I just make my jokes. But any day. I could take my responsibility. I could take what I get. I not go and cry to nobody if anything happened, so on, so on, so. You understand? So that's why I want to know. Taking responsibility and owning up. And, you know, them things that seem small will make this place so much better. You complaining about crime and you know criminals But you're not going to rat them out. Rat them out. You understand? Why? Why? The law is the law, you know. Whether you like it or not. You can't pick and choose who you want to let the lip law slide for. Anyhow, that's besides the point. Please take responsibility. If you all want to see more videos like this. Please subscribe and like the video, comment and let me know what is seen. If you want to have a serious conversation with me, maybe you don't like this video, send me a message. The link is in the description. And we go talk. I always online and I free the vibes with anybody. Alright. Bless. Boom. But this a hater. She be feeling my vibe. Goes away, I make a smile, I made a place in life. The girl came cool, but she blowin' my mind. And every time I line with that, it's a real good time. Girl, I never thought I'd find a love I like. This girl.
Cabby love this love type too The girl want to know if I ready To eat big steady When we alone I tell shit Girl the way you know Your baby Smooth 